Hi, this is Dave Lawrence of the California Type Foundry, and I am going to be discussing with you one of my favorite features in FontLab. It just saves a ton of time. And that is of auto layers. So say if you have a, a character like the six and we know, well, if we have the six then that's just pretty close to just having the nine, right? So I'm gonna double click here to generate it. You have to have the elements panel up and also the layers and masters panel up. And I'm gonna say equals six. Okay, so if I say equals six, and then I hit this sort of Lego blocks to the left, makes the auto layer, and then look, we have this equaling the six. Well, if I wanna flip it, I put in an at symbol, and if I flip the first part of it, and then I put a comma, because remember that this is basically works in the way that you have your X values and then your Y values here. Uh, then, see that's going to flip it like this. And then if I flip the other way, then I get a 9. But look, it's too low here because of just where it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a Y value, but I'm going to leave the X value unspecified. So I put the 0 next to this tilde, which tells it to flip. I'll push enter on that. And now that is moved up. That's about ready to go. Um, and then you can do a couple of things. Make sure that this overshoot is the same thing as what you have for this one here. And just all those sort of things. Okay, so that is the basics of auto layers. And just I want to show you one of my fonts, Bodoni Ferrara. And just to show you some possibilities of what this can do. So I'm gonna to go to one of my hairline weights. Okay, so I'm gonna change my encoding to just the index. So I've used everything that has a blue block on it. That is made from auto layers. And if you want to, so if I want this to apply to everything, then I hold down option when I click the Lego block. So if you're dealing with multiple masters, that's how you do it. Okay, so uppercase, alternate, uh, the other side of the bracket, the other side of the parentheses, uppercase uh, diacritics, uh, uppercase punctuation, like these symbols. Uh, I used it for quotes. I used it to also to generate this quote because if you start it out like this, it can you can kern your, um, your two quotes next to each other then you generate this and then you can actually make this symbol very quickly. So a lot of possibilities with this feature, very good to have. Um, if you want to make a ton of these into auto layers, then what you do is you hold down option, then you go up into the glyphs and you click on auto glyph and that is going to get everything okay. For more FontLab 7 videos, check out fontlab.tv. And if you want to see more of my designs, please visit calfonts.com.